tracer can be used, well, as brushes. They can be applied to pass or text. But in this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you brushes can also be used as symbols and also as a source for swatches. Now, I've just got some brushes here from graphicextras.com, flower designs. I'm just going to go over to the brushes palette. If you haven't got the brushes palette displayed, you have to go to the window, brushes, and then go to the right side of the brushes palette, open brush library, then go down to the other library option. Now I've actually opened the files already, flowers, brushes, so I've just dragged them over there, just display that. Now they won't appear in the brushes palette until you actually select them from the library here. So just going to click a brush, just select a few, just quickly just randomly select some of the brushes that are included in the set. So they now appear in the brushes palette here. Now I'm going to go to the window and symbols and I'm just going to quickly just select one of the brushes. Now I can select any of them so I'll just select that one and I can just then drag that over to the symbols palette. Click OK. Now I could set some of these other things like movie clip, graphic, but I don't need to do those particularly. But I'm just going to select just graphic. Now, I'm just going to select the symbol and I'm just going to go over to the symbol sprayer tool and I'm just going to apply the brushes or now obviously symbols like that. So straight away you can use a brush as a symbol. Great source for additional symbols. Now of course you could use a brush as a standard path. You'd have to expand the thing. But I'm just going to use it now as a swatch. That's the next thing. Just going to select one of the other designs. So select that one. And now I'm just going to go to the window, swatches, display the swatches, and just simply drag the design over into the swatches palette. Get rid of that. Now just draw a path quickly. Click. And then you've got a pattern, very simple, quick, easy pattern using the swatch. I'll just quickly do that again. So maybe select one of the other brushes. I mean, of course, you could actually combine elements, if you wish, of the brushes or change the colours. You don't have to use the, the colours that are actually displayed here, of course. And of course, this could be done with any brush that you can find on the web. But these are, let's say, from graphicextras.com brushes, flower designs. So I'm just going to use those. So I'm just going to now drag that into the swatches and so now, just over there, delete that. Just can, now I can select another design, so a circle design. Of course that's still got the original design but just click on that and you've got the uh, design. Again you can then modify the uh, swatch design as, as you wish.